Hello everyone, Alistair Gold here again. That will make no sense if you haven't already watched the video I published a little while ago. <laughs> if you have, you'll understand. So I wanted to just pop on uh, because there was a little bit of a flurry of excitement because people noticed that on Companies House, Spurs have been making some little document changes. They uploaded them on Friday and they became public today. Um, and in it, it speaks about uh, changes in persons with significant control, which obviously is Joe Lewis, the big owner of it all, I guess. <clears throat> and um, people got a little bit excited. I think that maybe this meant that, you know, it was a takeover, he was stepping aside, all of this sort of stuff. Um, and so as to try to stop my other video getting submerged by comments underneath, uh, which it probably still will be because they may not know this video is here, um, just a very quick kind of explanation of what exactly has happened. Very quick, like I say. It's all quite financially, which is kind of going over a lot of my head, but I've kind of had the base, kind of basics of it explained to me uh, by people within the club. So... These documents, like I say, were filed on Friday at Companies House, which is where all companies have to file any big changes that are happening and things like that. Um, and it showed that Joe, Lo Joe Lewis, the 85-year-old owner of Enic, which obviously owns the majority of shares in Spurs, if you weren't aware, um, technically he founded the Tavistock Group, which runs or owns Enic, which is one of its many kind of investments and companies. And then Enic in terms in, yeah, owns the majority of shares at Spurs. Like I've said before, um, I think when talking about Joe Lewis, he kind of owns a company that owns a company that owns a company that owns Spurs. It's it's a very long chain. Um, so anyway, these new documents showed that Joe Lewis was to no longer be shown as a person with significant control at the club. Instead, I'm reading this off, you can tell, I want to make sure I get this exactly right. Brian Antoine Glinton, uh, he was given with an address in the Bahamas, it was like a PO box address, was filed as the name of the individual person with significant control. That notice signifies someone who has the right to exercise significant influence or control over the activities of a trust, and the trustees of that trust hold directly or indirectly more than 50%, but less than 75% of the shares in the company. So, Glinton, Brian Glinton, is a Miami-born lawyer who specialises in corporate law and estate planning, and he's the legal advisor to the Tavisop Group, who you might have heard me say a couple of moments ago, um, is the group obviously founded by Lewis, owns Enoch, and therefore Spurs. So I went to Spurs and asked about this, um, and their very wordy response, I say wordy, it's not a lot of words, but very kind of financially worded response is, um, Tottenham Hotspur Limited has filed changes to its register of persons with significant control following a reorganisation of the Lewis Family Trust. The new PSCs of the company are the officers of the family's discretionary trust. So that would be Brian Glinton. He would be the officer of the family's discretionary trust. So from kind of having some further digging around and asking around, from what I understand, anyone getting excited or anyone thinking that this might be a takeover or anything to that effect, it is not. As it is, nothing changes for Tottenham Hotspur whatsoever. Um, it's simply a family trust restructure, so it doesn't change anything for Spurs as they have, and they will continue to be owned by Joe Lewis and his family trust and run by Chairman Daniel Levy. I can only presume this is something that maybe is a financial thing, maybe benefits financially in some way, I don't know. This is That's just a guess, um, and perhaps just with some kind of long-term structure and planning, uh, I'd assume, obviously... As I said earlier, Joe Lewis is 85 years old, so perhaps this is something looking to the long-term future of the things that, I guess, do we call them assets? The things that are within um, his portfolio, if that's the word. I know it sounds horrible to have Tottenham Hotspur described as something within a portfolio, but unfortunately, in the world of business, it, it, I guess it is. Um, so yeah, that's what this is. It's nothing particularly exciting, nothing huge change in what's about to happen or anything like that just a restructuring of the lewis family trust and therefore that just means having uh this officer of the family's discretion trust called brian glinton put as the person significant control because he technically looks after controls that trust i guess but yet in terms of how it works for tottenham nothing changes i'm told
So there you go. Right, it was just a very quick explanation. That was all it was, purely so that this can kind of go accompanying the other one, um, because obviously these documents were suddenly made public today. We've got to react. Um, but yeah, I didn't want to hang around. I thought I'd get it out there quickly for you. So there you go. That's me signing off already. Just a quickie. And if you have only just seen this one, there's a whole other video talking about loads of other stuff. A very happy and settled Antonio Conte, uh, contract talk, Harry Kane being very happy, um, the Perisic and Son theory, um, everything about the match against Everton and plenty more. I sound like a salesman there trying to sell it. I'm just saying, there's another video. If you want to watch it, watch it. If you don't, enjoy your evening. Uh, but I'm going to head off now. So as always, stay healthy, stay safe, look after yourselves. I shall catch you later. Goodbye.